podcast, episode 12, I think. Our first December episode, so we got Christmas colors. Um, we have Ash's archive here. Hi. Hey. Um, fellow Spidey cosplayer, as everyone is that we have on. <laughs> um, how are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Pretty good. We, we, this is a whole new experience for me. I got used to having two people on here, and now mm-hmm. I'm back to the one. And it's just throwing me off. Yeah, this is a whole new thing for me because I've only done this like one other time, and it was a while ago. So, you were on a, another podcast. Uh, it wasn't a podcast. It was just um, I did an Instagram live with one of my friends. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, we we've been like a lot of people's first podcast, and I love it because it's more fun that way. <laughs> yeah. Learning together. Exactly. So, um, you're also like the first female Spider Cast player we've had on here. Oh, so, like, cool. Welcome, I guess. Thank you. I'm always really awkward whenever I do you alone. I totally understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super awkward on camera. There's a reason I don't do video content. <laughs> it's fair. I'm the same way. Except somehow, I won't find any way for you. Still not used to being. Oh wow! Oh yeah, all yeah, of them died. <laughs> Four channels. That sounds like far too much work. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. I I had content that was just possible, but it didn't work at all. Now we're just down to the two. It works great. Good. Yeah. All right. So you recently showed off one of your. Uh, was it a spider summon? Yeah, my newest one. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that was the angel spider. So what was kind of like your inspiration or, yeah, no, your inspiration for making that? It, well, it's actually funny because I had absolutely nothing to do with the design process. It really? was it was kind of random, actually. It's about a year ago now. Um, the guy who designed it, Felipe Ilya, Ilya, Ilya? I hope I'm saying that right. Um, he just DM'd me out of the blue and he had just designed the uh, the concept art for it. And I just completely fell in love with it because it's very TASM inspired. That's when I was kind of in my TASM era and yeah. it just fit perfectly. And I asked him if it was okay that I get the suit made and he was like, yeah, go for it. So I, um, I got the pattern made from uh, Web Warriors Workshop. So they handled pretty much everything. The only thing I really had input in was like the back design because there was no concept art for that. Yeah. So um, I worked with them. They were super, super helpful. Highly recommend working with them if you're looking to get a pattern made. Um, and then the only thing I changed from the original concept art is actually the lenses because I really liked Zach's custom A shell. Yeah. Um, and then the web shooters just because I wanted to go for something a little bit smaller. So. Gotcha. Yeah. That. Hey. Okay. Cool. So okay, I did mention this like a second ago, but your suit reminds me a lot of the like No Way Home suit, the final swing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people ask me if that's like what it is. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, because like. The spiders are so similar with their just just shape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I also, I think the colors also, because in the sunlight, the colors look a lot brighter than they actually are. They're so bright. So, yeah. And so, like, so you mentioned that, like, it didn't come with the back art. Did you kind nope. of, like, take that from the No Way Home Final Swing suit? Um, it was actually pretty much web warriors workshop they sent me a design and it kind of um it was very similar to what it actually is all i really changed was the belt because the belt kind of like it didn't connect in the back it just kind of flared out and like shaped the logo which i thought looked really cool but i just wanted like more of a classic style so i just had him change the belt um and i had him make the the logo a little bit bigger because i just i really wanted a big back emblem yeah so i like that i yeah. was a fan of like the bigger back emblems not the super like same size as the front Stupid. Yeah. Um, but, and you are one of the few um, female cosplayers who cosplays Spider Man and not like yep. other people. Is there a reason why you cosplay um, Spider Man and not like anybody else? It's mainly just the fact that like I grew up with Spider Man and I didn't really grow up with any variant of like Spider Girl or anything. So I just, I always thought it was cool and wanted to go for it. And also, the way I pick most of my cosplays is just how much I like the suit. And I just tend to like Spider-Man suits more, that's all. That's very fair. And you're like pretty well known for your uh, Tasm 1 suit, I feel like. 
Yeah, I think that's the thing that got me pretty much my reputation in the community. Did you have any, like, suits before that? Um, I did. I had... Oh, God. Now I gotta think. Um, I'm, well, my first suit was my Far From Home suit. Um, and I didn't do any modifications to that. It was just, I bought the suit and that's how it was. Um, then after that, I got a Raimi suit. And that one I did end up painting, but not right away. I actually didn't paint my Raimi suit until after my Tasm suit. Gotcha. Or, I think I started them around the same time, but I finished the Tasm suit first. Yeah. Um, and then I, I got a couple suits from AliExpress just because I was trying to grow my suit collection, which for any beginners out there, I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> um, so I had, I got Peter B. Parker, which I don't think I've ever posted a picture of because it doesn't really fit me. <laughs> okay. Um, and then my Iron Spider, which I'm currently in the middle of modifying, so. How are you um, modifying I, it? Uh, I'm adding the, um the the like foil HTV on it so it's like shiny. Nice. Oh actually I have the, the vinyl here. So it's like reflective. Oh that's cool. Yeah. So it's a work in progress. It's a very tedious process. That's valid. Yeah. It's I mean, when you're working with any Spider Man suit and you're doing any modifications to it, I feel like it has to be super tedious to get it right. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, I think I did all those ones first and then I got my Tasm suit. And then I got a couple after that, so. Gotcha. And then, like, so, have you, like, actually made any of, like, your own stuff for it? Like, I know that's a very broad question, but, like, have you made, did you make your own face shell? I should ask. I'm sorry. No. I, I typically buy my shells. My very first suit, I printed my own shell, but I, like, I messed up the entire process because I was, like, trying to get it done for Halloween except the only 3D printer that I had access to was at my, like, local library. Oh. Um, yeah, and the shell didn't fit on their printer, so I had to, like, split it myself, and I just messed the whole thing up. So, since that. then, I've kind of strayed away from that. <laughs> but I, it's something I'd like to learn eventually, if I ever get a printer. Yeah. I know for me, at my, uh... Because, like, I make face shells and everything for commissions, and mm -hmm. it's one of the most difficult and annoying things to do is mm -hmm. to split your print and then have to print it on a smaller printer. Yeah, that's, I tried it once and I don't think I'll ever do it again. I don't know. I'm going to be getting one of Zach's soon, I hope. And then hopefully that'll turn out okay. Yeah. The facials don't usually turn out bad, so. Yeah, from what I've seen, they look really good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, all right, so steering away from, like, the cosplay side of it a bit. Do you have, like, an overall favorite variant? Like, across everything? That's a really tricky question, just because there's so many. I will say one that I've always really liked, but I haven't actually, like, read much into her is Silk. I've always, like, just really liked her suit. It's something I'm definitely planning to cosplay at some point. But just, I... I got one of her comics and I started it, but I'm only like halfway through it, so I don't have too much knowledge of her, but I, I always thought she was really cool. It's like for me how my favorite um, Spider-Man is Superior Spider-Man, and mm -hmm. I, I've only read like half of, half of the little bit that I own. Yeah, it's because it, basically I have the attention span of a goldfish, so I have a really hard time just sitting down and reading. Exactly. Like, even when I'm playing video games, I have to have my phone here with, like, a video playing yep. or something, or else I Same. just, like, get totally I bored. have to have background noise, yeah. Exactly. It's, ugh. Like, I've always wanted to just, like, sit down and watch, like, all the Spider-Man movies or all the MC movies or anything. Mm -hmm. I can't but it's do tough. it. <laughs> it's tough, for sure. Yeah. Man, yeah. Um, so do you have any, like, upcoming cause plans? I have a lot of upcoming cosplays. Um, currently, what I'm in progress on is I'm still working on the Iron Spider, but that was pretty much put on hold just because it takes so much work, and I really just have to be in the mindset to work on it. Um, I am also working on a sweater suit, which I don't think I've teased yet. So. Oh, damn, we get all the exclusives. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure when that's going to be done. I, I started it fairly recently, so... Is that, like, That's the cool. homecoming sweatsuit? 
Um, it kind of, it's gonna be more like, um, like it uses crewnecks instead of a hoodie. Um, gotcha. and it's just gonna be like an actual, like, sweatsuit, basically. That's cool. Yeah, um, I have a couple patterns that I bought that I'd like to work on, but I haven't started yet, so hopefully those will be coming at some point, too. That's fair. And do you, do you make your suits, or do you order them? I've never made one before. The sweater suit is actually the first one that I'll be like making. Um, yeah. But then I, I really want to get into making my own suits. That's why I picked up a couple patterns from um, ATX Spider. Yeah. He does really, really good sewing patterns. So I picked up a few from him that I really want to start. But I also have like no sewing experience. So Same. it's tricky. Same. I'm, uh, I've, I've wanted to start one, but I don't know where to start. Exactly. And also, like, again, I would watch a video on it, but to be sitting there watching a video and having mm -hmm. to pause it and then do the thing, I just want to watch something else. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So I wanted to ask about the uh, Iron Spider helmet behind you. Oh, yeah. Is that the one that, like, comes apart into all the little pieces? No, no, this no. is just the, um, I think it's the Marvel Legends series helmet. Yeah. It's actually a gift I got for, I think, Christmas last year. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. Does that one, does its eyes light up? Yep. Okay. I can't remember anything in this, <laughs> anything I, I buy. Get I feel that completely. Yeah. But you have a very spidey out room. Like, yeah, this is my office, so I kind of just decided to keep it on theme. <laughs> I like it. Thank and you. It, it, is is that Toby? I can see in like just a little bit of the poster. Oh, that's actually the um the '60s Spider-Man, the animated one. What really? Yeah, uh, it was a print I picked up from uh, an artist at a convention. His name is Joe St. Pierre. I highly recommend checking out his art. I have a ton of it. Really? So that was actually, um, I think he actually discontinued that print at cons, so I picked up literally his last one. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, I have a ton of art on my wall. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Yeah. Just, I see like, I see like the ones hanging up behind you and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think you show me the wall and it's so much. <laughs> Yeah, this is also still in progress. I have a lot from a recent convention that I still have to put up. I just love that. So I actually wanted to ask about the press behind you. That's like a oh, heat yeah. press, I assume, right? Yep. What do you use that for? Um, it's something, because uh, basically when I was in high school, I took uh, graphic design classes and I got super into just making my own stuff. So yeah. for Christmas, my mom got me, uh, she got me a heat press, a Cricut, just a bunch of stuff so I could make my own things. Um, oh, that's awesome. It, yeah, it hasn't gotten much use in recent years because that's something I've kind of strayed away from. But yeah. uh, I still use it every once in a while. Like I actually, I used it to make this hoodie, my Avengers Campus hoodie. Oh, so. I love that. Yeah. So every once in a while I pull it out for something. That's cool. I've uh, I've often thought about like, because my mom has one of those, I've thought about um, getting like my suit that I'm going to order without logos and then just like doing that on it. But I also don't yeah. trust that it wouldn't burn. So far, that's definitely, I understand the concern there. So far, I haven't had any problems. As long as you keep it on a low temperature, it seems to be okay. Because okay. um, that's what I've been doing for the Iron Spider is I have to heat press all the scales individually. Gotcha. So, so far, I haven't burned anything. <laughs> so, yeah. That sounds brutal. It is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason it's not done yet. <laughs> when did you start it? Oh, God. Um... Oh, so I want to say, yeah, I want to say in January, oh, maybe wow. December of last year. Yeah. So we're like oh. coming up on a year now. Yeah, and it's nowhere near done. <laughs> wow. Actually, Are you doing anything? Are you doing anything to get the reflective on the blue? The blue is the one section I think I'm actually not going to touch, only because I'm covering up so much of the spandex, and I still want the suit to be breathable. That's valid. Yeah, so I might, there's a few detail lines I was thinking about using, like maybe metallic puff paint, just to get them to pop a little bit more, but I haven't decided if I'm actually going to take the time to do it. That's fair. Yeah. Um, so again, we're, we're going all over the place with this. Back to cosplay. <laughs> um, are there any things that you would like to cosplay besides Spidey? Oh yeah, for sure. 
Um, I really want to do Ellie from The Last of Us. A lot of people have requested that one, so I'd really like to do that. Um, I I actually recently for Halloween I did um, Hitchhiker from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So it's it's an alright movie. Only the first one though. (laughs) Don't watch anything. Yeah, don't watch anything after the first one. Alright. Um. Yeah, and then I really want to do Mandalorian armor too. Yes. So. I'm hoping just I don't have the room for it currently. So that's something I'd really like to get into. Yeah, same. Um, I made a helmet a while back. Ah, I'm not in my usual setup. I can't like just point to it. I, I usually <laughs> have it. Um, but I, I would love to create like all that armor. It'd be so cool. Yeah, for sure. Um, but also like if you don't have a 3D printer or like really good with cardboard and stuff, I feel like yeah, I did find a, um, it was a really good template on Etsy. I believe the maker's name is Tristan Maker. Um, he has a foam template for, like, the entire suit, and he has, like, video tutorials that go with it, so that made it actually seem doable. <laughs> oh my gosh, so that's that awesome. Yeah, it's definitely something I've been meaning to try. Okay, well, I'm, I might need to try that now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he makes it look so simple. Like, I know that it's really not that easy because foam is very difficult to work with, but, yeah. like, he makes it look so easy. Ugh. See, I hate it when people do that, when they make stuff look easy. Yeah. But, um, so, like, have you ever thought about branching out into, like, like, I know you said Mandalorian and stuff, but ha- are this, huh. is there any other, like, Marvel cosplays you would do? Um, there was a time where I thought about doing Scarlet Witch for a little while, but it's, it kind of just got lost in the rest of my plans. Um, she's probably the only one that I really see myself doing, though, aside from, like, Spider-Man variants. Yeah. That's fair. (laughs) Would you ever want to make, like, a, uh, comic-accurate Iron Spider? Potentially. If if I ever get like a 3D printer and everything and can print it, then it's something I'd have interest in. I will say, I know I'm one of the few people that actually prefers the MCU don't. design. Uh... Yeah, I know. I just, I don't know. I like the blue. I think it looks good. Okay. I know, I just lost cool points there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we, we have a running thing on this channel that if you don't like... Okay, wait. Do you like the comic one still, though? Yeah, I don't mind it. Okay. I guess Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't dislike it by any means. Okay. Well, that's better. Like... <laughs> it's still... <laughs> I understand. It's okay. That's okay. At least you don't like... Actually, I don't actually have any other, like, weird things on this. Do you like Spider-Man 2? I do like Spider-Man 2. Damn. Okay, well, never mind that. Um. So. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, are there any, like, non superhero cosplays you want to do? Like, I know you said Ellie and, like, the Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. Though, but is there anything? I don't know, actually. That's what I have to think about. Ellie's always the first one that comes to mind. That's fair. Um. My partner and I have talked about doing, like, couples cosplays. We thought it would be cute to do human um, Shrek and Fiona. That would so, be funny. Yeah, that's one that I wouldn't mind doing at some point. Um, I don't know outside of that. I have to look at my list. <laughs> that's fair. All right, I, again, we're moving away from cosplay. <laughs> do you have, like, a favorite media for Spider-Man? Like, movies, games, TV shows, comics? Um... I would say the movies is probably what I, like, lean towards the most, but video games are a very close second with the Insomniac games now. That's fair. Because they've just absolutely killed it lately, so. Have you played any other Spidey games? Um, not really. I, we're actually, um, we're talking about picking up some of the older ones, because I'd really like to get a feel for all of the old ones. The only other one... I don't know if this even counts, but I had one of those, um, like, plug-and-play Spider-Man games. Yeah, so I had one of those as a kid, so if that counts, then yes. I I guess it does. 
Um, so, like, what games are you planning on picking up? Like, top to bottom. In all honesty, I would like to go back and try to get as many of them as I possibly can. Yeah. Um, we recently picked up Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 2. Um, and then also Tasm 2 for, I think, the Xbox 360. So I'm trying to go back and get some of the older ones. I played Tasm 2 on the DS, though. So I hope you have better luck. <laughs> How was it? Oh, it was not good. I, to be fair, I was also seven, so okay, like not really that great. But, fair enough. Um. So, are what is like your favorite Spidey movie? Oh God, uh, I think for nostalgia purposes, I'm gonna lean No Way Home, just because nothing will ever beat seeing the three of them on screen for me. <laughs> Yes, like the first time you see them all swing in. Oh my god, just that hit me. I, I cried so many times watching that movie. Oh, I feel that. Um, I will say Into the Spider-Verse is a very close second, though. Really? Yeah. I like to say that my favorite is Beyond the Spider-Verse, just because, like, my favorite part of the first one was all the characters, and they're all coming back for the third one, so. Totally fair. Okay, beside, okay, let's say besides No Way Home and besides Into the Spider-Verse, is there one of, like, the other big three's movies that you would say is your favorite? Um, that's a tough question. I, Tasm 1 is up there. It's up there for sure. Yeah. Um, I also want to say Spider-Man 1. Obviously, Spider-Man 2 is the best, which you wouldn't know. <laughs> Wrong, but okay. Um... Yeah, I, I, Tasm 1 is up there for sure, and I think Spider-Man... I, I personally think I would take Spider-Man 1 over Spider-Man 2, just because that's the one I think I've seen the absolute most. Yeah. But, yeah. How about you? What's your favorite? Tasm 1. Or, okay, cool. Yeah. No, Tasm 1 or Far From Home. I love okay, Far totally. From Home. Okay, totally. See, everybody hates on Far From Home. I love that one. Yes. I just love the suit. Actually, I love the No Way Home. Far From Home. Safe. Yeah, I agree. Um, but you know, I don't know why you like bad movies that much, but it's okay. Rude. Um, look, I hate Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. I like him in his older age as Spider-Man, but not Babyface Maguire. No, I, I disagree. <laughs> He's so good. Like those movies are so much fun to go back and rewatch. I think everything except for Spider-Man is good in those movies. Okay, we're gonna agree to disagree here because <laughs> we're not gonna get anywhere. That's okay. I, okay, can we agree? Best Harry? Best Harry? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's because it's yeah. the other option is Tasm and... Yeah. No offense, but trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I completely agree. Okay, um, what about Best Flash? What do you think there? The best Flash? Yeah. Oh, Grant Gustin's, by far. Oh, no, like Flash Thompson. <laughs> Sorry, I should have clarified, that's my fault. I thought you were talking about the Flash, like, yeah, anyway, Flash Thompson? Oh, Tasm. Okay, yeah, good, easily. Yeah. Who's your favorite Flash? Okay, honestly, I'm really not into DC. But from what I've seen, Grant Gustin seems like the best choice. <laughs> Valid. I'm 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 a Spider-Man nerd, but besides Spider-Man, I'm a huge DC nerd. That's why we only have Spidey people on here. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get Batman cosplayers eventually. I, I should probably like reach out to them. I'm only known by Spidey cosplayers. I mean, to be fair, there's so many Spidey cosplayers. Like, how do you not just get lost in this? Right? I had another meeting um, tonight, actually, around, like, 9 my time. And uh, I can't, I had to cancel it because I forgot I had something. And I'm like, oh. I, I, I've never had to cancel a meeting before. I just had to delay it by, like, oh. a couple hours because my cousin passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I Like I said, I delayed it a couple hours, so... I mean, it was okay. <laughs> but, um, okay, so with Spidey, is there any, 
would you want to do like a fully custom your Sona, your everything? Yeah, for sure. It's something because I've actually been thinking about doing like a version two of my Sona eventually, and that one's going to be completely designed by me. It's going to take a lot of elements from the first one just because like I like seeing the progression of yeah. like Spider-Man suits. Like that's what I really liked about Tom Holland's is like the homecoming suit to the far from home suit. I just really like the progression there. Yeah. So I, I feel like I would try to keep it to something similar to where it's still recognizable as my suit, but it's still it's going to be very different. It's something new. Yeah, for sure. I like that. I think that's a very good way of thinking about it. Um, and I also did want to ask, because I kind of just thought about this while you were talking. Um, are there any like particular cosplayers who kind of got you into this, got you wanting to cosplay Spidey? Oh, for sure. Um, oh, God, I don't even know where to start. I will say, as far as the Tasm suit, AABC cosplays, he was a huge, huge inspiration for me. Um, also... He changed his name recently, so I hope this is still his name. But like, uh, Spider Matt, the Spider Matt, oh. the Spider Matt. He I just changed his name. About. Yeah, I. He, he was also a really big inspiration. Um, it, there's so many. There's so many others. Now I would say Zach is also a huge inspiration because he got me really wanting to do a seven piece suit. Zach is a huge inspiration to everyone. Yeah, for sure. He Zach just is inspiration. That's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of cosplayers out there that I have to thank for this. Yeah. Like, I was actually thinking about it when I reached out to you. I was kind of like, um, I was scrolling through Instagram, and I saw everybody, like, talk about Zach's shells and everything. And I'm like, I got him on here on the first episode. Like, that was that was amazing luck. Because I, yeah. I just found the first guy who made a really cool suit, and I was like, hey. you very good first choice. <laughs> yeah. And I'm looking at that. That, that video got, like, 84 views on YouTube, I think. And all the others are in, like, the teens. And I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> that uh, that explains a lot. <laughs> it's okay. At some point, I want to have everybody on here that I've had on. It'd be a really big call, though. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Just gather all the Spidey cards. I don't even know if I can make a template for that. Like, So wait, you, oh, no. you listen on Spotify, right? Yeah. Okay, so for YouTube, we have like a whole little like premiere setup, like a theater kind of thing. And oh, that's so, cute. I don't know how I could do that for 15 people. Yeah, fair. Hey, we're in the we're in the final four episodes of this of the Creator Cast, at least this part of the Creator Cast. Really? Yeah, because this one's coming out on December 1st. Um, and then the three after that will be uh, the last of the year. And then I'm going to take, like, a month off. And Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I made it in. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll, let, uh, we'll let all the new people that use their money to get Spidey suits come in. And I'll, I'll interview them. There you go. Yeah. I still need to get a suit. Yeah, you do got to get a suit. <laughs> I'm like, Your costume I'm... looks so good. Thank you. I, uh, it's for a fan film. I'm, cool. I'm super excited for that. Yeah. I'm actually going to play Peter Parker, so let's see how that oh, goes. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Are you, like, writing and directing it and everything? Oh, and then, awesome. Uh, Good for you. Really cool. Thank you. And who I usually have on here as my co-host, he is playing Ben Ida. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing some weird storytelling stuff. I don't think a lot of Go people will it. like it, but... A lot of Who people cares? will also really? like it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, and so yeah, I'm like, I have to start cosplaying because I interview cosplayers. This is like my biggest thing. Yeah, you gotta get in on it. It's so exactly. much fun. So what I'm doing. But, <laughs> um, so how, how was your holiday, actually? Let's just get like off how was your holiday oh i slept all day <laughs> i i feel that um yeah i i didn't really do anything well because my plans actually got canceled because i specifically didn't make plans with family because i was supposed to be um dog sitting for a friend so i wasn't even supposed to be home and then at the last minute the owners ended up um canceling their trip so 
I was like, it's too late to make plans now. That sucks. Yeah, so I just kind of stayed home, but it was fine. I got to relax. I stayed home, watched a bad movie. Did you eat anything? Oh yeah, uh, my boyfriend uh, he made um, he he made a bunch of stuff. He made turkey and everything, so that was really nice. That's awesome. And you did a lot of cooking, right? I cooked for seven people. Oof, yeah. girl, I don't know how you do it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I cannot cook to save my life, so. I I will cook. during cooking. Totally fair. Because especially Thanksgiving cooking, like, that's a lot of work. I woke up at, like, 8 yesterday and stuck my arm inside a turkey. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And then I had, like, the worst texture ever because I rubbed olive oil with seasoning Ew, on oh the raw God. turkey. Oh, I'm cringing. <laughs> I hope everybody who watches this is just... Feels horrible about that. <laughs> I love my audience. Yeah. Um, but I think okay, you are one of like the only people I've had on here that I know of that has actually like watched or listened to the Creator Cast. Really? Well, I don't know. A lot of people just watch one episode and are like, "Hey, that sounds cool." <laughs> and then there was one guy. Um, sorry, one person, Ace, a few weeks ago who had uh did all the background reading they they did everything it was amazing they knew every reference nice but yeah so yeah yeah hi it. yeah i don't listen to that many podcasts so it was really nice to just add a new one to my lineup that's fair yeah what do you do for a living if uh, i i yeah of course um, I work at a company that does custom clothing, so I primarily do embroidery. Geez, so you're like really fitting in with the with the hobby. <laughs> yeah, the funny part is everybody always asks me, they're like, oh, is that is that how you make your suits? And I'm like, no. <laughs> all I do is I, I type in the design to the machine and it does all the work. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. I, uh, I see, I, like, I have a sewing machine, but I can't sew. Oh, same. It's like, I, I have one, I've tried learning it. I'm so bad with it. It's like one thing goes wrong and I'm like, ah, it's broken. I'm done. Mm -hmm. And I just leave it. <laughs> and it's just like, watching sewing tutorials, everybody makes it look so simple. And then I look at mine and I'm like, what happened here? Exactly. Because like, why are sewing machines so complicated? They are. <laughs> it's like there's like 15 different settings to get a, a thing to go up and down. Exactly. And there's no just I need, for like, the sewing machine that you have. No matter what sewing machine you get, there is just a, there's no, just a tutorial. No, it's just like I need a step by step tutorial on how to change settings here because exactly. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, do you draw? Not really. I used to draw when I was a kid, um, and I was never really good at it, so it kind of just fell off. <laughs> That's valid. Yeah. Um, I, I do also want to, I don't want to ask you, because I was just recently uh, listening to a thing earlier today on uh, the new Ultimate Spider-Man line. Have you heard anything about that? Yeah, the, the new one that starts up in January, is it? I think so. Yeah. Well, how do you feel yeah, about I'm that? Excited. I'm really excited for it, to be honest, because I, I haven't really ever kept up with a comic run, I, or at least I haven't kept up with a Spider-Man comic run, but this one just finally sounds good. <laughs> yeah. So this will be my first time that I actually like buy an issue every month and actually keep up with it. I'm so excited. I'm like, I like I own some of the original Ultimate Spider-Man ones, mm -hmm. but like, I don't know. I'm excited to see this new, older version. I hope they don't take it as much though. Yeah, for sure. I, I've worried about that. I'm like, if he comes in as an adult, will he just be serious a lot more? Or... I don't know. I I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I think they'll still keep keep some quips in there at least. They better. That's like my my word to Marvel. They better keep his quips. For sure. I <laughs> <laughs> um. 
I, I, I'm out of questions now. Uh, <laughs> was there any, like... So when did you kind of start getting into cosplay? Um, I f My first cosplay was actually way back in, like, 2014. Um, I did Carl Grimes from The Walking Dead uh, for yeah. the first convention that I ever went to. Um, it was really bad. <laughs> it was really cringy. Do you have um, photos I, of it on your Instagram? Um, not on my Instagram, but I could like send you some that you could put up so I can just be embarrassed. <laughs> Happily. Um, uh, I ended up, I revamped it a few years later and I think that one looks better, but I would still like to redo it again because okay. I could do better now. Yeah, now that um, you like, actually then, know how to do it. Yeah, and then I got my first Spidey suit in 2019, I think. I want to say 2019. And what was so. your first suit again? Is that um, the Far From Home one? Yep. Did you also say you bought suits from AliExpress? Sorry, I just fully processed that. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I Pretty much the mindset was just like, I want to expand my suit collection and this is the quickest way and cheapest way to do it. <laughs> so many times I have thought about going on like, Amazon or Wish even. It's so not worth it. Exactly. I'm like... Which, one thing I will say... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. Um, the one thing I will say is that I got my Iron Spider suit from AliExpress, and it's it's not good. Trust me, it's not good. But it's actually better than I expected it to be. Really? So, there is that. Huh. But, um, yeah. So what you're saying is everybody who watches this should go buy a suit from AliExpress, No, right? no, you shouldn't. The only time I ever think that it's appropriate to do it is if you're doing like a battle damage suit and you don't want to destroy a two hundred dollar suit. That's, that's valid. That's smart. But like, if you just want a suit, don't do it. It's it's so worth the money to just go to an actual suit maker. I know. I'm like, I'm having to like resist the urges to spend all the money that I've been saving for my suit mm -hmm. because I have fifty bucks now, but I can only I'm only using commission money because I don't have a job. Oh, okay. So, I'm like, that's 200 bucks. Yeah, it's pricey for sure. Like, I'm getting a custom design made here soon. And I'm... I'm doing another fan film. Why am I doing this? Oh, you're doing two? Yeah, I'm uh, doing a fan series, which is the Spider-Man one. Okay. And it's going to be eight episodes for season one, and maybe eight episodes for season two. But, um... And then I'm doing a Batgirl fan film, just because oh, cool. I want to get it out there that I do do fan films, and also that I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> totally fair. Because I'm playing Peter Parker, so like... Yeah, I get it. What, yeah, that's what it's going to be primarily known as, so I want to get that out there first. Totally valid. But would you ever be in a fan film? Um... It's something I'd be interested in. I think I would certainly need some type of acting lessons or something. That's fair. Um, but yeah, it's I could see myself doing it if if it's like with the right crew and the right story. That's fair. Also, have you done any like joint photo shoots with anybody? Like no. Or Spidey stuff. No, it just um like I've taken pictures with other cosplayers just at like conventions and stuff but i've never done a full shoot with anybody else That's cool. but, sorry no let me rephrase would you want to oh yeah for sure i'd love to is there anybody in specific you want to with um there's there's definitely quite a few people i'd like to collab with one thing i would like to do is um with aabc cosplays i would like to do the meme photo with both of us in our taz and one suits oh i love yeah, I think that'd be cool. Maybe if we ever go to the same convention, we could set that up. But, um, yeah, there, there's definitely quite a few friends I'd like to do it with, though. That's awesome. Definitely. I'd like to get in with, like, a Miles cosplayer. Yes. I think a Miles shoot would be fun. Yeah. That's me. I, I, like, I feel like I'm end up, I see everybody with their Miles and with their Peter, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I am just gonna have my Ben, and I'll be good. There you go. I gotta find a cane at some point. Yeah, for sure. Just get a trio of clones. Perfect. Um. Oh, 
um, yeah. <laughs> um, so, where are you primarily based, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I don't give out the state that I'm in, just, like, for privacy, but, yeah. uh, I'm on the East Coast. East Coast, okay. So do you, I don't, actually, I don't, I don't know any states on the East Coast. <laughs> I failed geography last year, so, like. They're all same. <laughs> um, so do you go to, like, many big cons around here? Um, I try to do as many as I can, although next year I'm gonna try not to do as many as I can, just to save a little bit of money. That's valid. But, um, I, I try to do Boston, usually. Um, that's the main one I try to go to every year. Um, I did Rhode Island Comic Con both this year and last year. Um, oh, I, I, I did... Go ahead. Sorry, I was gonna ask, have you gone to NYCC? No, I haven't. I actually, I was supposed to go this year and just plans got all mixed up and I ended up not being able to go. You didn't so. buy your ticket beforehand, did you? It's a weird situation because basically I was buying one off of a friend and then I felt bad because I had to cancel on him and he wasn't able to sell the ticket to anybody else on time. So I just, I still gave him money for the ticket because I felt bad. Okay. Well, yeah, that, that's not as bad as you just like buying a ticket and then not having and to then, go. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited. My first con will be this upcoming year. Oh, good. So excited. Hopefully I'll it's have a really by then. Experience. Yeah. <laughs> if you do, are you going to cosplay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, where we are, we go to the Fan Expo in our state. Mm -hmm. um, and if you volunteer for the first day, you get the rest of the time free. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. So, I figure it's four days, we'll volunteer for the first day, and then... Yeah. My, I'm going with my siblings, so I have to follow stupid rules with them, because <laughs> they have, like, the one of the days they have to do, like, a group matching cosplay. One of the oh. days, it can be, like, your own free cosplay, and then the other one has to be, like, normal clothes. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. I want to wear my spidey suit. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because, like, some of the people I've talked to in the community and stuff are based here, and we'll, like, I'll see them at the con, or at the mm -hmm. fan expo I'm at, so I want to, like, I don't know. I've talked a lot in this interview. Anyway, how are you? <laughs> I'm alright. Oh, good. So, okay. Is there any, like, game or movie? I know I I, I, I'm gonna exclude movies now, actually. Um, any games or TV shows or comics that got you, like, really wanting to cosplay, like, you wanted to wear the suit? Um, not that I can think of, just because, like, the movies are what I grew up with as a kid. Yeah. Like, Spider-Man 3 is actually the first movie I remember going to see in theaters, so... Oh, I'm sorry. I do too. It's like it's such a it's such a fun movie to go back and watch. I I love the first half, and then the second half, it's like it kind of falls off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a weird turn. If but... they had the, if they had the symbiote suit, he got rid of it, and then in the fourth movie, they brought Venom in. I think that I agree. Been good. I agree. Uh, that definitely just... would have been the route to go. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I definitely, because I had comics as a kid, but I wouldn't actually read them. I would just flip through and look at the pictures, <laughs> you know, as a child does. Um, and then I wasn't super into video games outside of that one, like, weird plug-and-play game. <laughs> so That's valid. Yeah. Well, I highly suggest, um, I highly recommend Edge of Time. Okay. Like, for one of the first games you play. Okay. Uh, what console is that on? I think the PS3. It could have okay. been the PS2. I'm not entirely sure. All right, cool. I'll look into it. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's 20.99 and Spidey. So. Perfect. What more do you need? Right. But okay, I do also want to ask: Do you have like a favorite variant outside of Peter? Like, like um... I know you said Silk, but like. I don't know. Yeah, Silk is definitely one of them. Um, 
I don't know. I do like Mayday Parker's Spider Girl. Um, I would like to cosplay her at some point too. Um, obviously, Miles is like the the obvious choice here, yeah. especially like Insomniac Miles. I absolutely fell in love with. Oh, I don't like Insomniac Miles. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Well, it's just because like I don't know. I like Across the Spider Verse and Into the Spider Verse Miles better. It, and that's I like completely fair. All the comics Miles better. I just don't like the Insomniac one. See, I also I haven't read. I don't think any comics with Miles in them, so I don't have that outside point of view either. So that could also influence my choice here. That's totally fair. Miles is not one that has a ton of great stories. I would highly rec recommend reading the uh, comic Spider Verse event, though. Yeah, yeah, that's one I've I've actually been meaning to pick up. It's uh, it was like I think my first one that I bought actually. It's oh, just, really? It was so good. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm at a blank here. So, <laughs> I, I've used up all my questions. I've been talking a bit too much, and now I'm out. So, like, do you have any questions? Um, well, I am very surprised. I think there's one big question you didn't ask. I don't know. Come on, you ask everybody. <laughs> Is it who's your favorite live action Spidey? Mm-hmm. I usually save that till the end though. Okay, <laughs> we ahead. can save it. No, go ahead. No, we can save that. I don't mind. No, it's okay. We have a new end of episode question. So Oh, okay. See, the only reason I, I wasn't even gonna bring it up <laughs> until you said you ran out of questions. Because my answer is such a cop out and I don't have a favorite. <laughs> But right. hear me out, you gotta, you gotta listen, you gotta listen, because I grew up with Tobey Maguire, so like, nostalgia. And then I kind of grew out of Spider-Man for a little while, and then Andrew got me back into it. Yeah. And then I kind of fell off with Tasm 2, just because Tasm 2. Yeah, that's all and I then, say. Exactly, and then Tom, I got my first suit with Tom, so like... It's so hard. It's so hard to choose. Also, come on. Like, having met both Tom and Andrew, I, I refuse to choose between them. That makes me so mad, by the way. <laughs> I see that post on my on my main page so often. Do you really? I do. It, like, keeps coming back around. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Although, Andrew Garfield always just looks like he's, like, just... Hey, I'm I'm here. He, he was awkward. <laughs> but I mean, hey, fits in with the rest of us, right? Yeah, for he was real. Like the second primary Spidey cosplay. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's, that's such a cop out, though. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so Toby isn't your favorite, is what I'm hearing, because you haven't met him, so you clearly don't like him. Okay, you're not true, but you're correct, I haven't met him. I don't know, I think they all have their their pros and cons. I do think you're very accurate in what you always say, that, like, Toby's a good Peter, Andrew's a good Spider-Man, Tom's a good mix. I feel like that's a really solid answer, to be honest. Yeah. Thank you. Um, again, still really weird that you've actually seen the cast. <laughs> I don't know. I enjoy it. I think it's a fun podcast. I like listening to other Spidey cosplayers, especially because it's like most of the people that have been on here, I'm like neutrals with. Yeah. So it's like, it's it's nice to hear from them. I think it's fun. I still got my goal. I got to buy episode 50. We got to have Miles on. Do you know Miles? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anakin Monkey, right? Yes. Yeah. Nobody does, apparently. <laughs> really? That's funny. I followed him for a while, I think. Um, I don't know. He's just like the one who actually got me cool cosplay. Yeah, totally valid. He seems really cool. I like his content. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm glad you like it. When I started it, that was kind of like the goal. Because, like, when I started getting into this, nobody else talked about it. It was very <laughs> few YouTube videos. Yeah. And they were all ones that were like, here's what to do and here's what not to do. And I'm just like, I want to hear people talk yeah because especially those videos really leave out 
a lot of the work that goes into this hobby. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure everybody I've talked to, we make it a point that, like, it's not just like, oh, spend 30 bucks at AliExpress and get a Peter B. Parker suit that doesn't fit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, instead, don't do it. it's always, like, poured months into this getting ready for a con. And for sure. It's great. Because even, like, because I try to go, like, the budget route when I get face shells and I try to get kits if I can. Yeah. And it's like, that's so much work. I hate putting together kits. I don't know. I'm, I, I haven't found a kit. What it, first off, I'm kind of clueless. What's a kit? Oh, it's when you just get, like, instead of buying a finished shell, you just buy, like, the, it's the raw shell and the raw lenses and the magnets aren't glued in or anything, so you have to do all the work yourself. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. That seems like a very easy money-making method. I'm not going to do that, but, like... I should do that. Yeah, it's like, I would prefer to just buy finished shells, but it's usually a lot cheaper to get kits. So it's like, I always advise people, like, if you can get a kit and you feel confident enough in your ability to do it, then go for it. But Valid. it's much... it can be in. Sorry, what? how much do you, does a kit usually run for? Like, how much um, It usually... varies. It definitely varies from person to person. Um, I got one kit for, I think... $80 plus shipping and then I've gotten another kit for like 130 plus shipping but um but the the 130 one I also got multiple sets of lenses so that's also like up to the price quite a bit that's fair yeah sorry I just had like a whole thought process that just go through my head at once I'm like so I'm doing pretty good I um I made it a point to like I have like some of the cheapest prices on like the market and stuff for my commissions because I do a full finished shell for 70 plus shipping. Are you serious? Yeah. I plastic Oh, dip I'm it. going from you next. <laughs> <laughs> I plastic dip it. I have magnetic lenses. And then it's like, um, if you have extra lenses that come with the vial, it's like um, 10 bucks per set. Wow. Yeah, okay. I, that's super affordable. Wow. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of liked that idea because I'm like, not everybody can afford like, hundreds of dollars for a shell if you're already spending yeah. 200 bucks on a suit yeah of course so i'm like yeah wow that's very kind of you <laughs> i'm like i get paid what i feel i need to get paid and uh you get a thing for a good amount yeah there you go yeah but i also have no interest in like breaking people's banks that's fair yeah because like i don't know we're all in the same boat. <laughs> For sure. And the ones of us that aren't uh, can go get those $300 ones. True. So, okay. I'm going to make you pick an answer. Who's your oh, li no. favorite live action Spider Man? I don't have a favorite. But, like, you have to pick one. They're all good in their own ways. Like, okay. Rhino running at you, there's three doors, each with a different Spidey face on it. Who are you running at? That was a weird way of putting that question, but... Okay. Okay, this is such a tough question. Okay. I'll, you know what? I'm just gonna go with my gut first response. It was Andrew. That was He was the first one I thought of. Oh, However... Oh, okay. Having... Sorry. He doesn't have the best history of saving people so let's be real here is he the best option in that situation i love how as soon as you said that my mind my mind immediately played the gwen hitting the ground let's be real here i don't like how real you're being but you're totally right <laughs> I don't know. If it helps, uh, my partner's favorite is Andrew. He he's always said Andrew. So okay. So okay. I'll accept. So it's us. Okay. At least you picked a good answer and didn't choose Toby. What do you have against Toby? I just don't like Toby. I Toby was the first Spider-Man I watched. Um, I went and saw Tasman in theaters, but Toby was like the one I always watched before that, and I always liked Toby more when he had the mask on. I guess. Oh, actually, I have a fun story that I don't know if I've ever told. Um, when I was a kid and I went to see Tasm 1, 
I actually found out that the guy who plays Captain Stacy, Dennis Leary, yeah. uh, played hockey with my dad in college. <laughs> or what? high school. It might have been high school. Yeah, I thought that was funny. So I was like, you just know him. And he's like, well, I did know him. I was like, oh, okay. Gosh. Cool. That's funny. Yeah. I... <laughs> that's cool. I, um... Yeah. I feel like there was somebody, somebody in my life that was in Spidey. I don't care. It's well, that's a flex. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess it's not a flex to you, but no, because Spidey One is dumb. You're wrong. Why would you ever make a Thanksgiving movie? Because it's an underappreciated holiday. I I understand that, but why would you make a Thanksgiving movie with Tobey Maguire? Because he's great. Why would you make any movie with Tony Fire? Okay, now you're just being mean. I am. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the whole point of this conversation. Oh my god. It, the best part is that almost everyone that comes out here picks him as their favorite Spider-Man. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and I refuse to watch Spider-Man 2 now. <laughs> okay. Last week I was bored and was like, should I watch it? And I just it's so didn't. good. It's like it's so like known out there as the best Spider-Man movie. I feel like I've basically seen it by this point. I've watched so many YouTube videos with clips of it in it. But like you don't understand the emotional toll that that movie takes on you. Uh, I don't. I mean, like, I watched. It, is Tasm one worse? Oh no! I, is, well, like, it, but, okay. That's is Tasm tough... 2 worse? Oh, Tasm 2 is worse for sure. I've seen Tasm 2. Okay, so watch Spider-Man 2 so you can appreciate it. See, like, okay. Personally, I think I would take Tasm 1 over Spider-Man 2 as my favorite. I don't think it, it's better, though. How do you feel about Homecoming? Because I saw a lot of things recently about it. Really like... I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings on it. I, I enjoy it as a movie overall. Yeah. Um, I understand why a lot of people criticize it. But yeah. I also, like, I feel like it fits and it makes sense. And it's very, like, it set the groundwork for Tom, I think. I completely agree with that. Um, all right. We are almost out of time, so I have two questions left. What do you think will happen um, in, let's see, what year is it? It's 2023. What do you think will happen in 66 years when we get to 2099 and Spider-Man 2099? What do you think will happen? I have no idea. I would really like to see a live action 2099 at some point. Quite honestly, I'm surprised it's not something Sony's tried to do yet. That's true. Um... It's, I would definitely like to see it in live action. Although, I will say, I don't have that much knowledge of the character. Pretty much just Spider-Verse is the only real, like... I don't know how to word that. The, like, the only story you know him from. Yeah, that's the only time I've been, like, exposed to his character, really. So, But, like, in the year of 2099, do you think they'll, like, change his name to, like, Spider-Man 2299? And keep him the same as futuristic i don't know maybe maybe they'll just call him spider-man at that point but peter um, comics probably will never end I actually mean, they true. probably should end <laughs> <laughs> they should have ended yeah. in like 2010 or 12 or something whenever um one more day came out yeah there's a lot of things the spider-man comics should have done <laughs> Valid. <laughs> All right. Last I don't question. know. Oh, go ahead. Oh, nothing. Just that was an interesting question. I didn't expect that one. I've been. It's like, it's just something I've been thinking about while I've been sleeping. Sometimes is I'm just like, what are they gonna do in 2099? They're just gonna call him Spider-Man or what? I wonder. What? That's very intriguing. Yeah. Because I'm like, what happens to all the future versions? Are they just gonna say like, oh, because in 2099 realistically look at back to the future when they traveled to 2015 and had flying cars 
and it's 2023 now, and we don't have flying cars, like, nope. realistically, the future is going to be nothing like 2099. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, last question of the episode. What is your favorite restaurant? Ooh, my favorite restaurant? Like, any restaurant? Any restaurant. Ooh. Um... I don't know. I feel like it depends on what I'm in the mood for. Because, like, Texas Roadhouse is pretty fire. That's true. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe... I don't think I've ever thought about that. There's a local pizza place that I really like to go to that I'm, I'm completely blanking on the name, but they're pretty fire. All right, local pizza place. <laughs> local pizza place, yeah. I, I think so. That seems to be everybody's answer. My co-host, his, his favorite place was a pizza place around here. <laughs> he couldn't How about you? What's your favorite? I can't remember if you've ever answered this. I have no clue. I have no clue, actually, what my favorite is. Um, I've never had to think about that before. Fair. Oh, actually, okay. I changed my mind. From not knowing. Um, there's a great place around where I live. It's called Porta Vinos. And it, it's an Italian place. It has the best, like, spaghetti and garlic knots. Ooh, okay. Cool. But, all right. Ash, thank you very much for coming on. Yeah, um, thanks so much for having me. It's my pleasure. Um, and I hope to see you next episode. Yeah, for sure. Okay, y'all. Hi, it's me. Give me one sec. Hi. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, episode 12 of the Career Castle. Um, but yeah, like I said, we will be ending um, season one with, I think, episode 15. And it'll be 